Good morning. Oh, day three in Phuket. Day three in Phuket. Look at the bed, it's crazy. Day three in Phuket. The goal today is to find the food I need for eating inside. I've been looking everywhere for like oats, frozen fruit, stuff like that I can't find. So I'm going to try and go to like a massive supermarket. Like I've been told there's a macro around here. There's a thing called Big C. There's another massive, massive supermarket. So that is the goal today. The other goal is to get some vegan protein powder because that's also what I need for my... Blenders in the morning, blenders in the morning. I don't know why I said blenders, I meant blender, blend it. driving around for ages. Okay, so we got a lot of stuff here. A lot of stuff. So if you want your protein stuff, this is a lovely place to go to. It's right near Tiger Muay Thai. It's actually about 15 minutes from my hotel in Rawai. We've got a lot of brands that you know. And the best thing about it, what I was looking for, serious mess, was plant-based muscle protein. Yes, this is going at 19. 1900 bucks, it's a bit pricey because that's about 45 quid, but it's 15% off, so we'll see what we get. So he's got it down to 1700, but um, I want to do is drive out to a Tiger Muay Thai and all the other Muay Thai gyms and stuff. They got some uh, shops there for protein and stuff, so we'll have a look uh, what's there as well. And as I drive past, we get top team where I used to train at as well. That's why it's sick to see some faces that I've seen from the trainers. Two seconds from there, you've got Gorilla uh, supplements as well, and you've got another place of bowls. Uh, I've never seen that one before, but you've got a ring and bag as well. The best manager in the world. My time here, best manager in the world. When I was here last, Ginger Cat was pregnant, and now I can go see all the kids. Look, 
even more. <laughs> hey, oh shit, they were small but when I was here last. Cats everywhere, that's why I love this hotel. Hey, hey, hey. I stopped quickly on my drive. You see that big thing up there? That's the big Buddha, okay? Now it's really high up. Now that's where a lot of people, a lot of the Muay Thai guys do a run, a big Buddha run. I don't know if you can tell how high that is, but it is a long distance to run. That is good. I'm going to try and find all the food that I need. Okay, so I need a top. Uh, better go home and get one. Okay, I've got this now. I'm not allowed to film here, so I'll be quick, but I'll come back to macro. We've got loads of shit in here, I love it. So far, so good. Yeah, bag of goods. Simple stuff, now I know where to get all my food. been a fucking stressful day man fucking uh. oh god really stressful man fucking always problems man like what to have first grapes yogurt tea oh fuck the water as well man why is my life always so difficult god man now i don't know whether to go in the pool out the pool. Mm. I'm sorry I'm being smug. <laughs> but I know there's people that will come on places like this, the holidays, whatever, and they would find things like that to moan about, <laughs> find problems like that. But yeah, it just made me realize, you know, like this is like a dream, like chilling here by the pool. This is possible. It's possible to live like this. It's possible to have a life like a holiday if you really want it. You can get up and go. You've got no tires. You can get up and go. You can either like save a shitload of money or make loads of money online or whatever you want to do, whatever you can come here and if you come to paradise you love it and you have to work here to do something then you'll do it and everyone can do it as long as you ain't got the tires and um, you know what i mean everyone can do it they can live the dream they can have what they want they can live the life that they want and that's exactly what i'm doing okay what i meant by that is if you haven't got any tires it's easier but anybody can do what the fuck they want to do it's possible to do uh, live the life that you want. Right, so it's 5 p.m. At 9 p.m. I'm going to Kangrang Muay Thai, the gym that I'm trying to get a sponsorship with, um, and we're going to see one of their fighters. So I'm gonna meet up with them, go see a fight in Thailand, which I've never seen at one of the stadiums. Um, it's gonna be fun. Obviously, I chill with the team, watch their fights, and um, get to see what it's all about. <laughs> I'm just gonna show you how small these kids are. Right? They're like the, I feel like they're the smallest kids I've ever seen. guys are boxing but apparently they're both 70 kilos i feel like that might be a little bit of a lie with this guy but you know <laughs> when i fight i'm saying 40 kilos man Thank <laughs> you. 
Back home now, that was an experience. I did not know that the gym was, sorry, the arena that we were going to was behind the gym. I was thinking, yeah, we're gonna get a car somewhere and it's literally right there. So not only am I gonna be training in the gym, I'm gonna be just going behind and fighting. This is just fucking a dream come true. This is, you don't have to drive anywhere, you just chill. You can, it's right there. But yeah, it was great to see, um, just to see how it is. And um, I can't wait to get training and get fighting. This seems to be the end of all my videos. But yeah, I just went on a bit of a mad one. I haven't eaten for four hours. Some bread, put some peanut butter on that. Coke Zero, got some Oreos. I love Oreos when I come to town, I don't know why. And some Arm Breeze milkshake, I don't know, just a load of shit basically. But that's what I'm doing. This is how I end my videos all with defeat. <laughs> all right, take care, see you later.